Hey guys, welcome back to some more Let's Play Super Paper Mario. In the last episode, we were attempted murder victims because of Francis's kitty door. And because I wasn't a totally hot babe, I wasn't allowed in. So, let's see. Only Master Francis and totally hot babes are allowed to enter. You can enter. After I check to see if you can hobble with Mr. Francis, that is. Please answer the following questions with true or false, man. Just true, 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 cool. And door. Mir, who are you? Hey, what are you doing seeing in my room, huh? Ever heard of privacy? Oh, there you are, Francis. I've been looking all over for you. For me? Oh, oh my gosh, it's, it's a hot babe. Hot babe in the room. What do I, oh man, a real girl, but it's so high technical. Near my mouse cock. Calm down, I'm get, 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 getting way too excited. Swells for me. Can't talk to girls, must get my laptop room. Franny, Franny, Franny back. We got swoon.exe, acting nerd to babe interface model with real time wooing. Welcome to my castle. How do you do, Near? What on earth is that? What's going on here? Near her, I boo this baby up whenever it's time to talk to the ladies. She wait to have her my swoon.exe program to work its magic. Where should I start? My name? Oh, me? I, I'm Peach. I want to make Peach for the pick. Peach like that, and he was just peachy. <laughs> I bet you've never heard that one. Oh, I'm just drooling at the sound of it. See the straight answer. Passion, hold up. Oh man, what do I do next? You're so cute, like a princess out of, straight out of an animated video game. I think I'm charming. Yeah, this one. My friend, you got cute tea. You're making me blush. Oh, you, you smell pretty. What the heck? What an intoxicating fragrance. This is enchanted for its distress levels to have passions up. As a token of my affection, I'd like to give you a special present. Oh. Oh, thank you, it's gorgeous. You really like it. I knew a hobby would Ah words. I knew a hobby like you would pick up on how premium this poster is. Pick up this baby at a totally high technic cow Princess Peach anime event. Pink Princess, not Princess Peach. I was going to get a CD, but I freaked when I saw this super rare poster. The voice actor for the princess and the director signed it, as you can see. As I'm quite sure you know, the director changed after season 3, so it's rare. Plus, look here, the logo is done in extra premium gold holographic foil. And the paper, oh man, it's UV resistant, so you never have to worry about fading. I could stick it on to the backing board for you, how's that sound? Um, yeah, sounds great. Oh, okay, you got it. Let me just take this guy back for a few minutes then, okay? Satisfaction and passion. Here. 
thinking about the future. Oh, we are like so perfect for each other. It's destiny. We should get married. M married. Yep. Would you have me? Hey, who's <laughs> who's picking your response for me? Anyway, I'm not married, this dork. I shouldn't even be having this conversation. I came to save Tippy. Where is she? Tippy? Hmm. Tippy. Tippy. There's no Tippy command here. What is she talking about? That's it. I've had it. You better bring her out now. You choose Boomer. Boomer exploded. No! My graphics card! That was the only known copy of the Nerd 2 Babe patch. That was gone forever. Nerd, real babes are scary. Tippy, oh, I was so worried. You, you came to save me? So, so you come to raid my fort and steal Francine? Well, no, I won't let you. But by the way, I came up with the name Francine on my own, isn't it? Surely, at first I thought it was a little weird that you could talk and everything, but the digibutter.ner for me action convinced me you're high technical. You're my only offline friend, Francine, so no one will take you away from me. Eat. Near can't see me. That's because my invisibility powers are totally high technical. Little Francine says they can't take her. Feel the wrath of the jilted ex stunt in the season finale of the Grotus Chronicles. Alright, really quick, let's switch over to Bowser. Do the real damage. Oop. Sir, that was rude. I'm just kind of patrolling the whole room, waiting to hit him as soon as he pops out. Francis. Thank you. Oh, bombs. No, thank you. Oh, you ate me. Sir. How did I miss that hit? What? came to save me. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. I'm so happy. What is that? Your heart? But how? It's like Tippy's heart just burst with happiness and released up your heart. Or... Mario, I was just so happy when I saw you come to save me. Please, take it. Damn. 
You got a pure heart. Amazing. End of chapter. The fourth pure heart appeared in a dazzling flash of mysterious light. What made it appear? The group was puzzled by this and many other riddles. So you're not hurt? asked Tippy, full of concern. Somehow, Tippy seemed different than before. She had started to change. Mario simply shook his head and started the long journey back to Flipside. I would love to see my progress. And that is how the ruffians managed to best me. <laughs> they are strong, to be sure. Very strong. Did I say they might be strong enough to defy the prophecy? Spare cap black your theatrics. The light prognosticus is false. The dark prognosticus holds the answer to eliminating heroes that rise to stop us. Oh my. That's the first time that morsel of information has touched my ears. Do tell. <laughs> In due time, Dimensional. In due time. Oh, Nastasia, it's time we set him on these pests. Yeah, um, I can take care of that for you, Count. Lovely! exclaimed Count Black. Return to your posts, my dear minions. As you command, Count. Hail Black! Does something trouble you, Anastasia? Yeah, can't. You know, there's still time. You can still change your mind. It is enough, Anastasia. We've already come this far, so we shall forge on. But you need to stay by Count Black's side. You can depart with my blessing. Uh, no, my Count. I won't be doing that. My life was very sore to you. Yeah, it's long to you since you saved me. Oh. I'll just be sticking out with you until my game ends. Okay? If that pleases you. And they're all gone. Ooh. My, my, my. How interesting. That station they can't have such deep conversations. Ah, oh, look who it is! Mm, just what is our dear cat playing at? Ah, well, I'll let him worry about that. I must attend to my own projects. Timpani, why? Why do you avoid me? Ow! Ow! Unhand me! Huh? You're crying. Why? Tiffany, you must tell me what has happened. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Just forget it. Oh no, Tiffany, is my father behind this? I'm, I'm just an ordinary girl. No matter how much I love you, we must part. Tiffany, I... This is goodbye, Blumier. There's no other choice. This is our fate. Ah, so sad. That was a little weird for a while, but we seem to have gotten through it okay. I'm so sorry. It was all my fault. And then you all... Thank you so much. <sighs> I had to thank me, Bugface, to stay out of my way, okay? Say, come to think of it. Bowser, could you be our third hero? Ho there! Oh, it's Merlin. I have been waiting for you, young heroes. Did you succeed in your search for the next pure heart? I guess we did. Intriguing! So then, when you were saved, Tippy, the next pure heart just appeared? Hmm, how oh, very interesting! I think that castle was once a dwelling of the ancients I told you of earlier. It seems that my ancestors have roamed far and wide in their dimensional travels. In the castle beyond the Great Sea, we hid a pure heart and sealed it safely. Yes, I remember reading such a passage in the Light Prognosticus. The seal could only have been broken by a powerful pulse of love and trust. 
So you think it was because Tippy began to trust us that we found this pure heart? That's amazing. And now there are three heroes! Ho ho! I don't know who the last one is, but waste no time in searching, my friends. Oh, please. Come on, people. With me here, you shouldn't need- you don't need anybody else. Seriously! Trust me, any problem comes up, and I'll stomp into next week. I'll Bowserize it! Oh ho, well met, Mr. Bowser. May your strength that words impossible to read. Oh ho, it seems the void has expanded once more. Time is short. We have to keep going. We must start looking for the next pure heart. There are matters I must attend to as well. I must search for any item of exit there in the life prognosticus. Okay. Before I have a little bit of time to talk, I actually need to go do this thing. So go back into chapter 3 1. And remember this pixel we talked to earlier? Whoa, now you want to hear the three tips again? Just say the word. What are you talking about? I don't need it. no more stupid tips, alright? No more hints. No way you defeated Francis. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. That's huge news. I'm just glad I could help with that daring mission to infiltrate the nerd lair. So, uh, I guess there's no need for me to stay here and give out tips. Guess I've done my job. I've got nothing to do now. Oh, hey, I want to tag along with you guys. Well, I made up my mind. I'm coming along whether you want me or not. Barry, the prickly pixels, join your group. There's plenty of dangerous types wandering out there. Let's stick to there. It'll be safer for both of us that way. So, with Barry, just tap one and just sort of counterattack the sword so you spit in a circle. I'll look for an enemy to show up. You. I never really used Barry when I was younger, mainly because I found out that he existed right when I was about to completely give up on playing. So, that's cool, I guess. Let's go back to flip side. Just switch back over to Mario. There's no point in having Peach out. So even though Bowser moves at normal speed with carry, Mario moves at the faster speed with carry, so I guess it's not completely biased for Bowser. Biased isn't the word to say, but I don't care what is. Alright. So Going along with that whole thought process of each pure heart is a different type of love, I think, like this fourth one. So our green pure heart was based off of a love of just friendship. Like, I guess they gave their description in the game, but and show up. Awesome. Why do you say we put it in?
All right. With that, I think we can already head back up to Flipside Tower. So, just use that. Go back up to Flipside. Only three more doors for us left up here. Well, minus this one, which I'm going in right now. Through the fierce battle against Francis, Tippy and Mario, Tippy and the Mario gang grew closer. Behind the fourth door lay a whole new world that beckoned to them both. What a way that was faster and stranger than anything they had counted so far. In order to claim the pure heart, they would have to endure new, far out trials. Chapter 4 1 Into Outer Space. everywhere. I believe we're in outer space, almost certainly. What troubles you, Mario? Ah, uh, yes, of course. We see you lacking air. You need that, don't you? Oh, uh, how gracious me. What am I to do? Um, well, let me see. Um, uh, where am I? Well then, well, but so... No! Hey, please wake up. Okay, I'll walk you up now. There. Hey, I'm Mario. Hey. You alright? Aren't you? Oh, thank goodness. I don't really know how I got us all out of there. It just sort of happened. We won't last out. We won't last out there as we are. Perhaps we should ask Merlin's advice. Alright. By the way. I stopped playing this game in chapter 4 when I was younger. So everything chapter 4 on is gonna be blind. Oh boy. Oh ho ho, that was certainly quick work. You've already found the next to your heart? No, Merlin. That door led us straight into outer space. Space? Oh ho, oh, I imagine that was an unwelcome surprise. Yes, there was no air, so Mario's friends couldn't breathe. What do we do? Hmm, well, if you had a space helmet, you'd be alright, I imagine. And you have one? Of course, I don't have one. But I imagine that even something like a space helmet would suffice. And it just so happened to... Oh, blast it. What now? Oh, double blast it all. I cleaned out my shelves the other day. Yes, I had the perfect thing, but I was making space and I gave it to someone in town. To who? Oh, just some random boy. It's even more convenient than recycling it. You must find that boy to explain the situation. Get back from him. Say right here. Huh? Then Merlin gives me something like a helmet? You mean this fishbowl? Yeah, I kept the Captain Gills here to cut, but they got too big for it. Yeah, that's why I got real happy when I got this fishbowl. The years the other captain got so big, the bowl got too small for him. Hey, I know, maybe you can find a nice place to set Captain Gills free for him. Captain deserves freedom, then you get the fishbowl. That's good, huh? Hmm, but where can he go? I want to know that he'll be nearby at all times. He got to help me. Alright, well, I guess I have to find a place 
in flip side because what's it close to release it. I know there's nothing like that on the first two floors. Or definitely not the heart pillar. What is it called? The flip side tower, that's it. So let's just go down again. Okay, there's another floor that I could go in. But first, I want to use Boober on this thing that's been here for such a long time plaguing us. Yay! It's gone. I know I could have gotten rid of that after chapter 2, but it's fine. Who are you? Here's what's some mysterious objects. Like that stupid vase we broke in Burley's Mansion. Come visit him some other time. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, that's like a lightning thing. Eight blocks each color once. Okay, that makes no sense. Am I able to use the elevator in 3D? Ah, this slows me back. Okay. Da -da, da -da -da. Well, I guess this would work. Yes. Go bye bye, goldfish. No, I have a space helmet. Cool. Yeah, I guess we can head back home soon. But first, I want to see what's down here because there's one more elevator. Maybe I can put this down, grab Thorough, pick up Boomer. Yeah, that won't work. Oh well. I'll just come back here later. <coughs> oh man, I'm sorry for killing all of your ears. I'm a horrible person. Alright, now that we have a space helmet, let's go back out. Again, sorry for killing your ears. Oh, that's disgusting. My throat, like, self combusted. Self combusted? What? Fine, I guess I'll use the helmet, because dying doesn't sound good right now. Wait, there's a pig. Where is Pig? Oh, SOS. This is sparkly. Something here. Um, I thought you were gonna automatically do a cutscene, Mario. You rude. Hmm, is this a spaceship? Looks rather like it. Perhaps. Through the woods looking for the pure heart, Squirple. Cuter than I thought. How do you know about the pure heart and about us? Are you allied with Count Beck? I demand answers. No, no scary faces. You can call me Squirps. I'm your captain, Squirk. And if you want the pure heart, we need to work together, Squirp. Whatever do you need, please explain yourself. Squirps can't tell much now, but you must trust Squirps. Now follow me, Squeaks! Squack! 
you be the captain. You are a space grunt now, and that is only rule. The only response should be yes, sir, and gotcha. Understand, Squirkle? I like how they're both like yes, sir, and gotcha. Squish, 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 squish. Looks like you better save your place, Squirm. Are you okay with this? Nope. If you say so. Great, let's get ready to the squawk formation, squaggle! We'll squawk directly to the pure heart. It's like warping, except squawks invented it. And we're to squawk, what do you love? Energy squawk, you're up, bring it. Power up, right? You must give it to squawks. Press and hold A. I'll just hold A until it stops growing. That looks good. Success! Squarp! Oh boy. Our destination, Squirps! Is that all the power power you have, Squirp? Good for nothing, Space Squirps. Squirps was an idiot for thinking you had more. Well, good for nothing, Septo. Good for nothing, ways of moving, Squirp! There's a ways to go before you reach her heart. You're the Space Squirp. Press that. Use two to shoot enemies by Squirp, Squirp, Beam, Squirp, Fire, Space Squirp. Charge! Oh my god, I'm pissing myself off with that voice. They go 3D. I can, but eh, no point. Wait, you are a catch card. Give me. Got a photon card. Alright, well, in this episode of Super Paper Mario, we met whatever the hell Squirps is, and then started going through outer space after getting our fourth pure heart from Saving Tippy, showing us the power of a friendship, of a loving friendship. Yep, that is good words. How do I do them? Till then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.